Okay. Hi, everyone. I'm John Ennis. It's my wife, Ruth Brown. We're going to do the 2B recap now. We're working on kickball changes. you want to talk about what we threw? Yeah. So we worked on, uh, first, just starting after reviewing the session last week, and working on um, kickball changes uh, on both sides. So we did a little pattern of kick, ball, change, trip, ball, step, kick, ball, change, trip, ball, step, kick, ball, change, trip, ball, step, kick, ball, change, trip, ball, step. Good. Then we worked on uh, doing our kickball changes in different locations. We worked on a sideways kickball change, um, as well as a backwards kickball change. Um, and so we practiced doing that on both feet. We talked about the different rhythms that are associated. This might be more of a hoop ba da, whereas this one might be more of a hoop ba da. It's going to be it's going to be later. It takes more time. Yeah. This is going to be sharper. And so different rhythms. Yeah. So practicing doing these. Um, you know, on your own will be good. Practice during dance, practice at home. Adjust, adjust the body position, figure out that I, I find the backwards kickball change, I have to lean forward more, mm -hmm. balance it. Yep. So it was good that we partnered up, right? Mm -hmm. And so we did, we worked a lot with the um, the idea of doing a basic, and then one person, in this case Ruth, doing kickball change, bum ba -dum. And I've got to keep my rhythm, but I've got to look at her. Or she might do her basic. Bum -ba -dum. Yeah. Talked about keeping the balance when you do your basic, keep that balance. And then we partnered up and we did the same, we did this pattern. Bum, ba, dum, shoot, do, ba, dum, and then maybe Ruth will add a kick up fingers. Nice. And she'll try to more or less give me the same feeling through the hips. Nice. Uh, or I might do the same thing. Shoot. Bum, ba, dum, hoop, ba, dum. So that was a kind of lead follow drill that I think is extremely useful. Mm -hmm. Finally, we talked about the difference between a jig and a kick. A kick is where you uh, kick the foot that is free. A jig is where you kick the foot you're standing on. And so that led to something we're going to work on next week, which is the jig ball change, which looks like this. Jig ball change, or if you like here, jig ball change. And that's a way to do a uh, hoop by a rhythm. But, oh, let's have them here. Hoop by a, I change my weight. So if I'm on my right foot, but uh, I can get the rhythm of a kickball change, but change my weight. That was it. Uh, we'll see you guys on Saturday at our town starters ball. Lesson at eight thirty dance. Lesson at seven thirty dancing at eight thirty live band. Also workshop from four to six beforehand. All the information is on jdickrichmond.org.